Welcome to Brett Ridgeway's Learning for Life video lessons, and in this lesson, we're going to be learning Holy, 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 and uh, we'll be learning a few hymns in a row here over the next few weeks, and uh, I do want to thank all my patrons. I could not do this. I couldn't continue to do this without the help of those who are contributing and uh, giving so that these lessons are free and available for everyone. So I want to thank them first and foremost, and also to those who are sharing commenting and liking the videos. It is a tremendous help and uh, really appreciate everyone who is participating in this program. So we're going to get started. Um, and if you notice when I played it, it's not overly embellished. And sometimes, in just my opinion, sim uh, simpler or uh, less is more. So uh, the other thing I want you to notice is that I'm, t I'm playing it and I'm going to teach it like I'm playing it. In other words, I'm not just playing a bunch of notes. In other words, the same. In other words, uh, I'm, I'm putting emphasis and I'm playing the embellishments a little bit lighter. So one of the things that's really good to do is to learn the tune like you're going to play the tune. So we're going to start here on this G on the right side of the treble bridge and we're going to fill it in with this box chord right here. So we're going to, you can do it a lot of different ways but I'm going to hit the two uh, G's together, the octaves. So I'm playing together, right, left, right. Or you could play together, right, I'm sorry, together, left, right, left. It doesn't matter the order that you're hitting these notes. But for the sake of teaching, let's stick with this. I'm going to play the two G's. Come up here with my right hand catching this B. Left hand's catching the D. My right hand is coming back to this G. Again. Then the left hand is going to come up to this B here, and we're going to play in this triangle. And what I'm playing with my left hand is B, D, G, B. Notice I'm hitting this B harder. Again, from the beginning. That's our next little phrase. And if you're looking at this as a box, you're playing 8, 3, 1, catching this A over here. Or it's D, F sharp, D, A. And then back up to this D. So from the beginning. And you're going to hit this D twice. So you can use a harmony note or an octave or a harmony note here. Now I'm using that same rundown pattern. So what I'm doing is the left hand is catching this E, G, E, and B. And I'm not calling out the notes, the numbers so much, just because we're kind of all over the place. So from the beginning. And again, you're coming back up to that E. Same pattern. So we're again repeating that pattern. So from the beginning. 
Here's that pattern. Now, what you can also do here is instead of just coming down, you could do a run up first. So you're starting on this E with your left, you're going to this G with your right, and then the E with your left. And you're going to do that as a triplet. Doing that little circle again. So from the beginning. Make sure you have that much memorized. One more time, very slowly. Okay, let's move on. Make sure that's memorized. Same pattern. So you're playing with your left hand, you're catching the D with your right, F sharp, D, and then A, back to the D. If you notice, I'm actually teaching this in chords. That's your first chord, third chord, chord, chord. So it's in little bits and pieces that you can see that there. Okay, so that's what we're up to. So you're playing with your left hand, you're playing with the left side triple bridge, G, G, I'm sorry, so G, G, F sharp, D. Now you can use harmonies here. Whatever you want to do there. Do it that way. From the beginning, we're going to just keep playing up to these parts. Make sure that's all memorized. So we're going to, I played that next part, but let's go back to it. Let me, let me play up to it and then we'll stop there. Then you're going to come over with your left hand. And you're going to play this A, D, and then that same rundown. So you're playing this E, G, E. So we're going into the next chord, which we've already played. We added a note here, but we're playing D with our uh, left, the F sharp with our right, D with our left, catching this A, and then 
if you have this range, you can drop all the way down to this D. And if you have, this totally if you have it, a chromatic bridge over here, you can even go lower. So it would sound like this from the beginning. And then the tune starts all over again, so make sure you have that much memorized. Very important that you learn these in little segments. It's going to start over. So you already know this. Same with this. This is all repeat. So you know all that much, you just have the last little phrase. And what you're going to play here is this, on the left side of the treble bridge, you're playing this G. And if, if you want to use numbers, you're playing A, 3, 5, and then to this D. Let's put it into the tune. This is the second half. Again, you can do it either way because you're just playing this box chord. Or, however you want to do it, so, I'm sorry. Watch what I'm doing. Or if your choice, it's whatever you want to do. And there's even more that you can do with that. Same rundown, so we're going from this E, G, E, B. So let's start the second half of the tune. That's where we left off. We've already played this little circle. It's not really a circle, but I played this. So my right hand, or my left hand is playing this B. Right hand's playing the D. Left hand's playing the G, and then the A. Or you could play it and not catch the A, but the B. But I usually do the A. So let's start here. Your left hand's going to come up. Here's our triangle. So your left hand's catching this uh, C, this E, and then the A. Here's your next triangle. So just watch. So many things you could do here. Just keep watching. Here's your triangle. Here's your next triangle. Here's your box.
So let me play the tune all the way through one more time, very slowly, and uh, watch for the chords. Don't even play, you know, don't try to play with me. Just watch the chords, and, and you'll see, you'll start recognizing them. So here we go. So let me play it through one time for you. Watch the chords. I think I think you'll figure this out. It's not a hard tune, especially if you understand your chords. And if you don't, I would recommend going back to the videos that I've I've put up on the different chord positions. Here we go. So I hope you enjoyed that lesson, and uh, we will see you next week with another lesson. Uh, again, we're going to be doing some hymns here. I hope you're enjoying them. And uh, again, love to hear from you. Please like the videos. Please share. And again, thank you to my patrons who are making all of this possible. We'll see you soon. Bye.